Hi, it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts and I am here with my project for the Pink Bubble Cards Alphabet and this is, oh I've lost track of what week it is but it's a couple of weeks ago, it's the letter B for bird so if you have been asleep somewhere and haven't heard of the Pink Bubble Card Alphabet um, this is a challenge that anybody could join in with. You don't have to do every single prompt. You can just dip in and out. You can do it every week. There's no pressure. It's hosted by lovely Hilary over at Pink Bubble Cards. And I will link Hilary in the description for this video. And the idea is that each Wednesday Hilary pulls out a letter. And that letter has a corresponding prompt. And we make something. So it might be a material or a theme, um, often it's things that Hillary's sort of, you know, maybe it's stuff we, we might collect as crafters and then not use it very much. So we've done things like peel-offs and, um, you know, stuff that we have, don't, don't let by the way, in, in our tiny little well-organised craft collections. <laughs> anyway, I am... Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to make but I knew what I wanted to use and it's a die set from Elizabeth Craft Designs from Annette Green I believe she's called and I saw her sharing these designs just before they were launched on Instagram. I shouldn't be allowed on Instagram. It always makes me want to buy things um, and so then I saw that they had the dies at Hixie Soft, I think. Is it still called Hixie Soft? I'm not sure. But that website, whatever it's called now, maybe it is still Hixie Soft. Um, or Hixie Craft. Anyway, that's where I bought them from. And I, I'm in a wee bit of a rush. You wouldn't guess by the way I'm blathering on. I'm not exactly sure where I've put them. I've got top secret things for design teams on my desk. I mean, a normal person would get all this stuff organised, wouldn't they? Wait a moment. Ha ha! I found them! So this is the birdies. I mean, how cute are they? Um, so yes, so I had to buy. It was like, I didn't have to. I did, I chose to. And I also treated myself to the bee. I have bees. I have lots of bees. But look at this beautiful, like, it's the sort of, it's the fanciness and um, you know I'll tag Annette's uh, Instagram because there was some gorgeous um, excuse me there was some gorgeous sort of makes around the time of the launch if you scroll back a little bit I remember one of the bees that was like blues and greys oh stunning so yes yeah, so I've used this die set um, because I'm really good at ordering stuff and then it sits, I've got a wee basket that I put my new things in and it sits there for ages and I, I, it takes me just to use things sometimes which is crazy so so I cut my bird and I inked up all, um, the bird and then I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it so I've turned it's turned into a, a card it's a slightly squint card I think so I cut a panel of sort of wood grain effect um, pattern, not texture, and I, some craft card. And this was my little birdie. Isn't they beautiful? They're so sweet. Um, and then I added a wee wreath because I love a wreath. And do you know what I probably need to do is add a few Nouveau dots. And then I've also added a few of these little flowers. I bought this for myself too. I saw somebody was using lace flowers um, and I thought oh I want to do that and I found this really pretty one and I've no idea what measurements are so I think I thought they were a wee bit bigger but they are small and perfectly formed you see that against my hair maybe so yes so I added a few little bits of those with some fabric glue and then I had cut the wreath twice and inked it up and one of them 
collapsed with it because I was doing like ink, wet ink, um, you know, smooshing, smooshing. Should I start this again? No, I'm just going to carry on. Uh, so the little scrappy bits I had left over that had all broken apart because the card got too wet, I've just stuck them in. And then I added a little stamp that says Tweet Chirp. So it's a bit quirky and a wee bit kind of, I think this should be, I think the positioning of it all might be slightly off, but you know what? It's a, it's a quirky bird. Quirky bird. My, my oldest friend in all the world, um, like longest, not oldest, um, I don't know if it was maybe when I bought my flat or when I got engaged or my 21st or my 30th or something, anyway, she gave me two sort of wine glasses that are, they're kind of a bit wonky, like the stems are at an angle, they're quite I don't know if I've still got them, I like them. And a bottle of quirky bird wine and I was like, I mean, I am a quirky bird. Um, <laughs> and I am a bit wonky, but it's like wonky wine glasses and quirky bird wine. Oh well, I'll take it. <laughs> so yes, so that is what I have made for the B for bird. Now I am a couple of weeks behind. I've, um, the next one is MDF and I need to, I've got a wee bit of a mental block about that, I'm not going to lie. I do have some teeny weeny little shapes which I have, you see that big sigh, sorry, it's only crafting eh? which I have used on projects before so maybe I'll do something with that, um, but inspiration has not struck just yet, so I'm waiting for that to happen. Hopefully I'll be back fairly soon with that. It won't be in the next week. I'm sure about that. Um, so yeah, so I hope that you're all doing well and that you found a bit of time for some crafting. Um, and if you've enjoyed my video today, please um, say hello in the comments. Leave me a like, it makes my day. And if you're new to my channel and you've enjoyed, why not hit subscribe? That would really make my day. Somehow, I know it's just a number. Somehow when I see I've got a new subscriber, it just, I get all excited. So, take care everybody. I will see you very soon. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye now.